Okay, so once the basic build um, is completed, and it'll it'll tell you here, um, like I talked about before, um, we can go on to the next step. Now, you have the choice. You can go to design settings. You can upload a header um, and, a, and a background if you like. Um, you can do the social um, advertising. Or you can go and add more products, add more categories if you like. Um, but usually, during going through the process, the next logical step would probably be go and add a header okay and so we're going to talk about all of the tabs uh, here shortly okay um, but on the main tab your main basic build tab now once it's complete it's already added products to your site but if you want to just quickly add more products in your key your niche product keyword which is your main keyword and main product category um, and keep that in mind go ahead this is going to be as like I said your main category so you want to go ahead and capitalize this okay so but if you want to quickly add products for this main keyword you can just simply click the button here and it will go ahead and add more products um, but so the next logical step would be go to uh, design settings now obviously um, also you can um, integrate with Spin Rewriter. So if you want to integrate your site with Spin Rewriter, you can put in your API key, your email, and then you can put in the number of days um, after how many days you want to spin the content. After so many days, you can spin the content, um, your protected terms, um, if you want to restrict any certain post ID or whatever. You really don't need to do that, really. Um, unless you have a unless you want to restrict your home page uh, now if you want to do that just put in your information and click integrate with spin rewriter and it will go ahead and do the integration for you okay so let's go ahead and go to the next tab which is design settings um, and now we're talking about adding a header graphic and your background now this information down here is going to let you know um, what size you want to make your header okay so the size of the header is 970 by 130 so um, if you want to uh, go create that um, a full header it's 970 by 130 now you can also put in a logo um, so your logo can be smaller um, so you have the option of using a logo like 200 by 200 or 250 by 200 whatever that is something in that area um, but you can also use a header graphic which is a full header graphic background you can um, put in a tiled background so if you have a small uh, background uh, you know like a 200 by 200 background uh, you know crop or copy you can um, tile it so you can add your background and click the uh, check the box that says tile and it will tile the background so it can it fits everything um, if you have a big background, what we call a full-size background, you can use um, add your full-size background here. Okay, so that's basically the um, the design settings. We keep that pretty simple. Um, we'll let you you know do all your design settings later on. Um, so the next option is social settings. Okay, really easy. Just put in your information here and click add social info. Okay, so the next is advertising. Um, you can choose how many ads you want to show um, and you can choose ads per page usually this is around two per page and keep in mind this is on your product pages so you can put in your ad code code here this can be Amazon banner ads um, you know Google AdSense um, whatever you like and then you just click add advertising info uh, we briefly talked about security um, obviously this is uh, optional um, it will add a certain recipe of security software um, that does a good job of, uh, of, of securing your site. You can use this. You can put in your IP address and uh, just put in your admin nick, uh, nickname and click the button here and it will go ahead and do that for you. Um, okay, let's talk about add additional products. If you want to add additional products or add additional categories. Now this is very important. If you see in the main setup, this asks for your WP admin login URL. Okay, that's what this URL is. On your add additional products, you just want to put your domain, so including HTTP. So you don't have to put your login URL. You can just put your domain, or your subdomain, or you know your add-on domain. Okay, so just put that there. You don't have to put in the WP admin. 
okay if you want to create um, bulk categories you can put in categories here so for this example I would just I'm gonna come back over here and just grab my the uh, domain I'm gonna paste that there okay and let's say that I wanted to add PlayStation 4 Xbox one Nintendo Wii okay so let's say we wanted to add those all I'm going to do is click add bulk categories and it will let you know that it's working and it's go ahead and going to go ahead and do the uh, import for you um, and add the categories for you it's really quick um, so it kind of does everything for you um, and you can just see the uh, process window in the bottom so now once you have your categories um, created um, you can simply click load categories and it will actually load the categories from your site okay now you'll see your categories here that you can choose from so let's say you wanted to add more products in PlayStation 4 I would go ahead and type in uh, PlayStation 4 games and I'm going to choose 10 Okay, and you just click start posting and it will add these products to your site. Okay. Okay, you'll see it working. It will choose your category. Okay, and it'll let you know here that the uh, products have been added. Okay, so pretty simple. Okay, so the next tabs we're going to talk about is the poster and one of the most important tabs, which is your homepage builder. Okay, so we're going to go through this. Let's talk about the poster. Now, like I said, homepage builder is one of the most important parts of your site. Okay, this is kind of kind of what your site hinges on. Um, but let's talk about the poster first. Okay, so pretty simple um, content title. What you want to keep in mind is um, the way this is set up, this is going to be adding uh, co uh, content to a blog page. So it's going to be um, published as a page. So keep that in mind. Um, and there's a reason for that. But uh, content title and main content. So for this example, I'm going to go and I'll have an uh, article here from Article Builder. And I'm just going to add it. Now, with your main content or your your uh, text you can click open editor and an editor will pop open and you can use it just like any other e editor or just like in your WordPress editor okay so I could just paste that in um, I can put images in um, you know whatever I'd like to do HTML uh, video what you know anything you want to put in you can use the editor here to do once you're done with that you just simply click OK okay and it will format everything for you and then when you're ready you simply need to click publish content and again it will let you know um, what's going on in the bottom okay so let's talk about the home page builder okay so the first box is going to be the actual uh, title of the page okay you can name this whatever you'd like um, you know whatever your you know you can name it the um, basically the name of your site or whatever this is going to be the page that people see first uh, uh, you know normally okay so page title and then a page intro heading if we take a look at of our example site you can see how this is just example text so um, this is not a production site but you can see um, the way the text is it talks about um, the actual the type of products that you have on your site um, you know it, it gets them interested basically it's a pre-sale page but basically and also it's to give your visitors really good information okay so that they can use that information and move forward on your site okay and that's what it's for so this is what the example um, page will look like or this is an example of what your page your home page will look like so for this example I'm gonna go ahead and use um, another article from article builder now this is normally 
you would want to you know do something better with your home page um, and, and not just an, an average article about your niche but you know this is something you want to put together pretty nice so um, just just as for time concerns I'm going to use um, an article that I already have ready so I paste my um, home page content in here and now we're going to have a featured product so you want to think about a product that a, a single product that you want to focus on um, to um, be the review block on your home page so I would put in my um, featured product that I'm going to do the review, uh, review block for um, the title of the product and I'm going to give it a, a rating okay okay and the ratings 1 through 10 I'm going to put in the product price okay now I'm going to put in the product uh, video URL okay so this is going to be a YouTube video for the product and next I'm going to put in my product affiliate link okay this is the actual link that you get from Amazon for the product so for example you could come over to Amazon paste in the product title when you find the product you can click um, the product here okay up in the left hand box you can click where it says get link on your Amazon site stripe you can click text and you can just grab this link here okay that it created for you okay come back to the software and paste that here where it says product one affiliate link okay now we need to put in the product one uh, pros and cons now and this is a tip so that it looks the best okay now what you want to do is you can put in a line tag so basically what that does is makes um, makes your uh, cons or your pros and cons in a bullet format okay so and you do that by um, putting in a, a tag here so it's if you see what this is and then you put your first pro so for this example I, I might say great graphics okay And I would just copy that and, and paste a couple of more. Um, fun to play. Okay, so something like that. Okay, now you can do the same thing with cons. Okay, so something like that. All right. Okay, so the next uh, box is going to be our review summary. So this is the summary of our review. Okay, next we would um, add the product image. So you can grab the image from Amazon and then upload it here. Okay, so once you have the image, next thing we're going to do is we're going to check this box to go ahead and set this as our home page. Okay. Now you want to go make sure over all this information, make sure that you have everything entered and everything is correct to your liking. Okay. Make sure that your your domain URL is here and correct. Okay, without WP admin. Once you have everything that you uh, believe is correct, you just simply click build home page and the software will build your home page for you and just let the software work um, you can go do other things while it's building your home page and it'll give you an update of the progress here and let you know when it's complete